Hello Gemini, welcome to your bonus reading and welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages that Gemini need to hear today. You're going to defeat your enemies or an enemy for some of you. And all your worries are going to be over. All your stress is going to be over. You could finally move forward or unstuck yourself. Any, any sort of complicated situation you could be in right now, Gemini, I see you winning making moves or dealing with people who are manip manipulative or deceptive could be one person it could be multiple people some of you not of pentacles at the bottom of the deck this could be a person you could have been dealing with virgo capon taurus unless this is you um you may be hard at work and i feel like it's gonna pay off with the ten of pentacles here some of you it's somebody kind loaning you money or giving you money or you inheriting something inheriting something that is of value it could be money a home uh anything valuable okay definitely see ten of pentacles sitting in your outcome position so this is a really really good card if this has something to do with your finances your career or your business i see it flourishing i see you being able to uh use the money to invest more or to buy a new house new car uh, or buy anything that fancies you okay but the Ten of Pentacles also can indicate family. Some of you, um, this may indicate happy family, a stable family, um, or you marrying into money. Some of you, okay, Ten of Pentacles can indicate marrying into money, marrying someone whom is very rich, or or somebody is marrying you <laughs> and feels really good about it because you are stable, you're financially abundant, okay. You could go vice versa, but Ten of Pentacles is the best card you can get. One one of the best cards you can get in the outcome. So position and the lovers here in reverse indicates a choice. A choice that you have made has led or will be leading you towards this abundance here, Ten of Pentacles. Something you've always wanted, if not even more. The magician is you making perhaps a lot of moves, pulling um pulling strings the magician pulling strings or you know the magician for me is an entertainer some of you you may have you may have to entertain some people that you don't really like to entertain <laughs> but you know you have to in order to to get what you want or succeed so these people can be any anybody people you work with or uh, anybody friends or connections and i feel like it's going to pay off okay it's going to pay off some of you may have to you may have had to smile at people you don't like to smile at. <laughs> you may not even like these people, but you had to put a facade on right with the magician here and uh, act like as if you enjoy their company or that, you know, whatever crap they're saying, you're just listening to it, nodding your head. So, but all of that is paying off, Gemini, magician, and the Ten of Pentacles. It will pay off, okay? Trust me. <laughs> Only for those of you in this situation right now. Obviously, a lot of uh, details in this tower reading. So, and it's a general reading. So, just say what resonates with you. Ten of Cups here is in reverse. So, from unhappiness to happiness. I don't know why, Gemini. Some of you, I don't know whether it's you or your person. So, you got to be careful a little bit. If somebody wants you because of your money, your reputation, or something that they want from you. Just be aware of that because sometimes a magician can be someone de deceptive, someone manipulative, and this could be part of their plan, part of their strategy, right? This person may want you or want to be with you um, because of the benefits that they may receive from you, okay? And again, this person can be anybody, it could be a friend, could be people you work with, opportunists, or you know, if if 
maybe for some of you, not all of you, this is love. Also, it, it could apply to your love situation. And if you have a lot of options, right? Just be aware of our swords. Also, you may have one person there, whom could be uh, an opportunist. Okay, this person doesn't care about love at all. They care about what they can get out of this connection, and uh, or out of this friendship. If this is a friend, and because. They want to elevate their status, or that they want something from you, okay? But on the other hand, Gemini, it could be someone who could be working their way up to wanting to reconcile with you, because maybe you have made a choice to let go of them, or that they may have made made a choice to let go of you, and but they have been stressing out a lot. Nine of Swords here because they're not happy that both of you are not together right now. This person may start to make a move towards you, yeah? Unstuck themselves, make a move towards you. It may be taking a it may have been taking a while because the Nine of Pentacles is a very slow energy. So this person may be taking a long time to reach out to you, okay? But they definitely can see themselves being with you long term. Hence they could be planning and strategizing with the King of Swords here. Making sure that whatever they're gonna say to you, or present to you, most likely, you know that you that you will not reject it. Okay, um, some of you might reject them with the King of Swords. You're like, I can't see your true colors. You can say whatever you want. As the magician of Five of Swords, you can manipulate me all you want. But um, a lot of you might, or if you don't know this, because the, the King of Swords is sitting in your advice position, uh, spirits could be saying, hey. You know, uh, use your smart, your intelligence, your logic before you accept this offer, okay? Or make them wait or set your boundaries because they may have hurt you in the past or giving you a lot of problems, stress in the past. You may have had a history with this person. They may have said, we're going to be together forever, but something happened. So there was or there is trouble in paradise, right? Um, we've got the King of Cups here in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person has made you feel very vulnerable. You may have cried a lot for this person. And uh, because of this person, whatever they did in the past, um, they may have caused you to have some trust issues as well, okay? Always suspicious of, you know, people whom are dishonest towards you. So this person, I feel like, is going, he or she is coming in. They are going to want to speak with you in regards of reconciliation. They may want to apologize to you as well. I want to bring you a gift. It's not pentacles. Pentacles something solid, physical, right? Maybe ask you for a second chance with the Wheel of Fortune here. But I feel like you're going, you're going to be very indecisive about it. Because look, Ten of Swords, the way this person has hurt you, it was bad. It was really, really bad. So, and you have built yourself to becoming the Queen of Pentacles. Doesn't matter again, King or Queen. Doesn't, not gender specific. You have been focusing on your work. You have been focusing on stability, your home situation. Some of you could be traveling. You're doing a lot of things. You've been doing a lot of things to build yourself or rebuild yourself uh, where you feel secure. Mm, could be financially or just secure and stable in general. And you may not want this person to ruin it, right? Because the whatever they did to you, the way things ended between the two of you, it may have been very devastating, right? You may have been emotionally imbalanced at one at one point in time because of what they did to you. So this person will come in. They're going to apologize. They're going to offer you commitment here or try to send you something, give you something and asking for a second chance. But I think two of swords, some of you might just say, I don't want to hear from you ever again, or just don't even reply to the messages. Um, or that you be indecisive, yeah? Two of swords. You may be indecisive and say, you may be indecisive and say, let me think about it, okay? But some of you, you're going to block them, will not speak with them ever again. Of some of you, you may give them a chance. You think about it. Some of you might think about it. Because the sun here is in love first. They have made you very, very unhappy. Another thing I'm getting here is for those of you who have a who has a child or children, I don't know whether it's you or them. 
something like you can't see two swords is the sun here i don't know whether it's you not allowing them to see your child children or vice versa but there's something like that going on for some of you okay fearful for either of getting hurt hurting the child children or like getting hurt it could be not just emotionally physically especially if you've been dealing with somebody abusive unless roles are being reversed here but that's very specific that's just for some of you but the outcome looks good because ten of pentacles you are if it's work your finances career definitely see abundance making a lot of money being able to save a lot of money or being able to spend lavishly okay um and being able to travel as well your hard work is going to pay off i see you again saving a lot of money some of you could be investing buying a house buying a car i think i already said that unless again this is love uh some of you there could be someone that if you're single someone you may meet okay while you're traveling or when you decide to make certain changes in your life okay whether it is to meet people in a different place or you make changes to the way you look some of you may have been working really hard um as in in a gym in a gym working really hard in a gym you know trying to tone up looking good feeling good and i feel like uh, because of that you may attract someone someone uh someone solid i would say someone loyal may not be too exciting this person may be a hard worker can be a little bit boring but but a good boring okay um because the sun in reverse can make it also you're done with fun you're done with you know uh childish people childish partners or childish friends like i definitely see you stepping up for yourself right or also perhaps it has something to do with your taste some of you your taste has changed you know better what you want in a person or you know better what you want in your career so there is a big change cuz before that you were not happy and why should you why should you keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting uh, a better results so that's what i'm getting here all right gemini this is your reading your bonus reading i hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below i will leave you with two playlists on the screen right now the first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel check it out if you want to and these um these readings are still new yeah gemini because you guys know i post very very often so check it out if you want to and i hope to see you back here again soon take care gemini bye